Hi, my name is Grace Savage, and I am going to share with you an example of a time that I totally failed at communication. And this is for Dr. Davis's leadership class. So this happened a couple of years ago. My parents graciously invited both of my brothers and their wives and their children and myself to what we like to call Savage Family Beach Week. And Savage is our last name, so that's why we call it that. And we were to spend a week at the beach all together as a family. And the way that the house was set up was that my parents had their own bedroom with two queen-size beds. My um, Each brother had their own bedroom with two queen-size beds for their family. And there was one remaining bedroom with two queen-size beds. So I told my mom that I could not wait to go that my only request was that I have my own bedroom. Um, and she said that that was great. She totally understood. We were gonna have a great week. So I got to the beach house, and when I got there, I realized that my two nieces, who are four and six, had taken over uh, the bedroom that was supposed to have been mine. And I love my nieces dearly. And I did not want to rock the boat. I didn't want to ruffle any feathers. I did not want to hurt any feelings. So I chose to say nothing, even though I was really hoping to have my own room for the week. So I was very passive and chose to be silent and not tell anybody what I was actually thinking or feeling. And that actually ended up leading to quite a bit of resentment. Um, as I became a little bit more tired every day. So um, I think it was maybe Wednesday or Thursday, I announced to my family that I was going to be sleeping on the couch in the den and not in the bedroom with my nieces uh, any longer and uh, did not explain why, didn't give any reasoning and um, just made that statement. So my mom, being a very good communicator, asked me what was going on, and I then spoke uh, my, my feelings and told her that I was exhausted and just needed some space from my nieces and that I had um, been planning on having my own room and that I just really needed my own room for the next couple of nights to just get some rest. And um, she was wonderful about it. My two nieces went back to um, their parents' bedroom, and everything was smooth sailing from there. But definitely learned some good lessons about if I'm going to be assertive um, and asking for something to continue to be assertive and to not be passive, and then to definitely not communicate in a way that's passive-aggressive. Um, and if I could have continued to have been assertive, I think things would have been a lot smoother the first half of the week. So... There you go. Thanks. Bye.